Today, I got back epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video. And in this video, we have some cards. I had a few different orders I sent out at dip, like at the same time really, and one of them came back. I don't remember exactly what's in here besides that it was really, really awesome stuff because like I had a couple of different ones I split up, but we're gonna see exactly what was inside. But before that, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two Water Enchantress of the Temple. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card from this submission. We do have like three or four of these coming up. So if you like PSA returns, keep an eye out. There's going to be a lot of good ones coming up. I hope we got some great grades today. Let's see. There were no upcharges, which is a little worrisome because there was some good stuff in here. So I hope that doesn't mean we didn't get anything good. It could mean that though. So we'll see. Let's see if we can open this thing up real quick. All right. I almost forgot about the pre-grade. So let's go to the pre-grade, see what we thought we got on these cards. And you guys can see what we actually submitted. I can't really remember. So let's get into it, even though it was only like a week or two ago, but here you go. All right, guys, we have 10 awesome cards that we're submitting here. We're double checking these because I have checked them before. Let's do a little pre-grade and see. I have looked at them a little bit and I was like, these are worthy to be graded. But a lot of times when I do these, I find something that I miss. So we'll see if these are definitely worth it. Here's a first edition Thousand Dragon. The front of this card looks really good. Centering for the most part is pretty good. It might be slightly shifted up, but not too bad. The back appears to be really, really nice. How the corners... Maybe that corner's not perfect, but it's not too bad. It seems like the surface is really good on this card. Corners appear to be pretty good. This, I mean, this looks like a 10 candidate to me. Honestly, like maybe a little bit off center, like slightly, but still within the 60, 40 range. And then the corners are not completely perfect, but I think this has a chance at a 10. I'm gonna be optimistic. Let's say PSA 10 on this thousand dragon. I still don't own this card. So if I do get the 10, I'll be going to the collection, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully that happens. Next up, we have another old school Metal Raiders card, Solemn Judgment. I have graded one of these in a 10 before, which is actually pretty cool because these are not that easy to get because they were so playable back in the day. And even in old formats, they're still playable. So it's a really good card. Centering is slightly pushed to the left, I think, but not too bad. Corners, uh, that one looks okay. Maybe not perfect. That one looks pretty good. Those bottom corners, that one's not that great either. They're all pretty decent. Okay, there might be a couple scratches on there. If you can see a couple print lines right there. Uh, might be something going on up here. I can't tell if that's actually something happening or not, but surface looks pretty good. Probably not as good as the Thousand Dragon. Uh, corners are okay. Yeah, I, for this one, I still think this has a 10 chance, but I'm gonna go with nine on this one because it's not completely perfect. It's not like a, you know, a pristine 10 or whatever, like if it was a BGS or something, but definitely a 10 candidate. I think it's a really solid card. So I'm gonna go PSA nine on this one. Next, we have a card I've never graded before, which is an ultimate rare pot of greed from Duelist Pack Kaiba, first edition. This is a really, really nice looking card. I usually just put these in like my goat form format decks or whatever corners on this thing look absolutely great maybe a little bit of edge wear on that edge right there uh, how's the centering pretty good overall a little edge wear down here so we got a couple edge wear spots the back appears to be pretty good it's a little bit like wavy but that's just because of uh the the artwork of the ultimate wear coming through so I think overall with the little couple edgeware spots, I'm going with a PSA nine on this. I think maybe it could squeak by and get a 10. I've gotten 10s with edgeware before. Usually not like what you want because those are like so obvious when you're looking at the card in the slab. It's like, eh, is that a 10 really? So I'm gonna go with nine on this. I think that nine's a pretty solid grade for that. All right, here's one we have graded a few times. We've graded a couple of 10s. I think we got a nine in the last one we graded, but hopefully we can go back to the 10s. I actually sold both my 10s back in the day for like 250 bucks, 300, something like that, which would be an absolute steal right now. I think raw, they're about that. So. So uh, corner looks pretty good. A tiny speck of whitening right there, but not too bad. That's definitely okay and could get through with a 10 with that tiny dot. Back, I mean, for an ultimate rare, look at the back. Not much at all, like a couple of like slight like print scuffs, I think, not too much. Corners look pretty good. I mean, this could definitely get a 10. It's not like a super clear back where it's like, wow, that is absolutely pristine, but I think it probably was printed that way. Uh, so it looks really good. I think this is also a 10 candidate. I wanna be positive and say a 10 on this one, but I think maybe the back deters them from giving the 10. Also, it's a little bit off-centered this way. I'm gonna go with nine on this one as well. I think it could get the 10, but that centering really kind of convinced me to just bump it down to a nine on my guess. All right, now we're on to the Wing Karibo level 10 another Karibo. I have had a PSA 10 of this, but I bought it at one point and then I sold it, but I've never actually had graded one. This one's definitely not getting a 10 though. You can tell why it's off-centered. Just as such a cool looking artwork. It's a really, really nice looking card. It seems super clean on the front. I mean, this thing might get an eight because of the centering. Hopefully it gets a nine. That's what I'm hoping for. The back though is super nice on this card. It's really, really solid. Corners look really, like this is a pristine card for the most part, except for the centering. A little, maybe a little scuffing right in the middle, but 
I think this is a nine, but honestly, I think it might get an eight because of the centering. And then if they find anything else, they'll just bump it down to an eight. I think it probably should be a nine. I'm going to go with eight just because I'm trying to guess what they will actually give to it. All right, here we go. Here's a card I've never been able to grade in 10. Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare. So this card, I think that uh, I would love to get a 10, but it's very difficult to get this guy in 10. It always seems to come back as a nine. I've graded two nines. Tiny spec right there. Surface looks great. Corners look good. Back looks very nice. I mean, like maybe a little scratch right there if you can see it in the middle. Like a little scratch right there if you guys can see that. So that's probably going to be something if they see that i mean it's a little bit of a scratch but it's not too bad you can barely even see it all right it's a very nice card like it's the centering's pretty good it's not great it's a little bit shifted to the left but i'm gonna go with nine on this as well i think it does have a 10 shot i think almost all these cards have a 10 shot except the ones that are off centered i like really off centered but i'm gonna go with nine on that one and we also have another one so i'm hoping that at least one of these two could get a 10 that would be really really cool i don't i don't know if it's gonna happen i've tried many times i think this one might be a different print it might be a euro i'm not really sure it just looks a little different than the other one. Uh, corners look very good. Surface appears to be really good. Bottom corners, a little bit of spec right there, but not too much. Back looks to be pretty clean. I mean, this one looks nice for sure. I mean, this looks like a really, really good card. So I'm hoping that this, I mean, it's better centering too. I'm going to go, I'm going to go optimistic here i'm gonna believe that this can get the 10 i think it can it looks really clean pretty much everything in terms of all categories like centering edges and all that stuff are all at least like pretty good like close to 10 quality or better so i think that that can get the 10 that's my guess all right we have three more cards and there's some big boys we got the cyber dark dragon you guys remember we already have a psa 10 of this we gr we pulled and graded a nine and then regraded it a 10 which got super lucky this one is also pretty clean i don't remember i feel like i thought this was a nine at first Man, check out that artwork. It's so beautiful with the uh, ultimate rare. Looks awesome. Corners appear to be pretty good. Very good. I mean, the purple just looks amazing. That's why the, the heroes, the cyber dragons, and the cyber darks look so good. Wow, this card looked... Oh, yeah, here's what it was. There's a middle scuff. If that was not there, this card's a 10 candidate because everything else looks great. But I think that is going to knock it down to a 9 just by itself. But even a 9 of this card is amazing. So I'm definitely saying 9 because of the scuffing in the middle. But that's literally like the only thing. This card is like very, very nice just with that. It, it, you know, it's in addition to it. Two cards to go. We have, speaking of Cyber Dragons, the Cyber Twin Dragon. Let's see what this one's looking like. Beautiful card. Another one that I've never actually owned in PSA 10. It's got a little whitening right there. Um, I don't think I've ever owned a graded one of this, have I? It's definitely off-centered here, so we're probably not looking at a 10. Back looks pretty clean. Okay, overall, I'd say this card's pretty nice. Pretty solid, looking good. Okay, so got a little whitening, off-centered. Is there anything else on the back that I need to add? I mean, this might be a nine. I could see them giving it an eight, but I think this is a solid nine. I'm gonna go with a nine on this. I'm guessing nine on a lot because, you know, PSA, it's eight, nine, or 10 for the most part for what I'm submitting. So I think that's probably a nine. And the final card, probably the granddaddy of them all in this one. We have a Cyber in Dragon Ultimate Rare. So this is a big card. I've never even owned a graded card or a graded version of this. This is the best condition one I've ever owned for sure. I had like a light play back in the day. Uh, corner, slight whitening on it, but not too bad. Looks pretty good there. Slight whitening on the bottom edge. Pretty good on the surface, right? Yeah. Back appears to be pretty good. I mean, there's no ulti stamp at all, which is amazing. This just looks really good. I don't want to touch it too much. Like, I know it's probably fine, but it's just such a nice card. I think it has the gym mint 10 potential, and I'm going to be an optimist here and say we're getting the 10. I think it'll be tough because it's such a high-end card. You know, sometimes it feels like, oh, this card's a little bit too high, and let's give it a 9. But I don't know if that's actually how it works or not. I'm sure a lot of conspiracy theorists could uh, confirm or deny what they think. But I'm going to go with PSA 10 on this thing. I think you can get it. This would be so cool. I've never owned this card graded at all, so a 10 would be amazing. Let's see if we can get it. Let's get right back into the return video. All right, we are back. You guys saw the pre-grade. You saw what I predicted. I don't really remember, so we're just going to have to get into it. Maybe I'll remember as we go. There's like 10 cards, I think, so 10 pretty big cards. Let's start it off. We haven't had a 10 card return in a while. We had a big one. What is going on with this? What is on this case? It's reflecting like a bunch of... I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Okay, well, I, it doesn't seem like too much, but okay, sharp corners. I remember some of this stuff. We had old school, and I think we had GX. Ooh, that corner doesn't look so hot. 
Look at that. Oops, that doesn't look so good. I don't know what card this is. Hopefully not too big of a one. We have a, oh, Pot of Greed. Yeah, Ultimate Rare First Edition Pot of Greed from Duelist Pack Kaiba. So far, that bottom right corner was the real issue that we've seen so far. I'm guessing I predicted a nine on this from the back, but with that corner, maybe even an eight. Let's see what we got. Pot of Greed First Edition Ultimate Rare. The only Ultimate Rare of Pot of Greed in the TCG. They should make a Ghost Rare, I think. Let's see. Eight. Okay, so we got an eight. I bet it's because of this back being a little wavy like the ultis are and then that corner. So yeah, that's that's not a good start. But that's okay. It's just the pot of greed. Hopefully, hopefully this is not indicative of what we're going to see the rest of the way. Make sure to send some luck in the comments so we can have some luck on the rest of the way. We have a top left seems pretty good there. Top right. Try not to get, you know, myself reflected in here too much, but these are very shiny cases. Uh, bottom corners seem okay. Wait, does that one have anything? Maybe a little whitening on that one. Not too bad. Surface on this one looks a lot better. I mean, that's because it's not an ulti, I don't think. So, uh, Solemn Judgment. This is an old school Meta Raiders card. Let's check the centering on it. Seems to be pretty good on this card. So this thing probably has 10 potential. I don't remember what I predicted, though. Anything weird going on that I'm missing? I don't know. Let's see if it got the 10. I think maybe, maybe it could happen. Let's see. Yes, another one. Solemn Judgment got a 10. I've graded two of these recently, which is really, really awesome. So now I have an extra one. So if you are looking for a Solemn Judgment, this is an extra one. It also has the nice 6-9 cert number, which is very, very funny. Okay, so we've got two of those have been graded. That's actually not one of the easier ones out of Metal Raiders. Metal Raiders is usually a pretty easy set to grade. That's usually one of the lower ultras. So that's actually pretty sick. That's a good sign. I was worried we might get no 10s because like no upcharges and stuff. But even though I think this card probably still isn't over like their declared value or whatever. So that would make sense why I didn't get an upcharge. Let's see what we got here. We've got corners. I wish myself, <laughs> I wouldn't reflect myself so much, but can't really do anything about it. Corners look good on this one. I think I have a couple more Metal Raiders cards. I can't remember exactly. And then we have some other GX cards that we submitted. Let's see front oh cyber twin this would be such a sick one i think it might be a little oc right yeah a little oc not too bad oh wow this card looks pretty clean for an ulti on the back for sure i think the centering is probably going to do it in yeah i'm guessing a nine based on what i'm seeing here i don't know what i predict probably nine yeah nine okay cyber twin dragon this is still a really sick ultimate rare card very nice cyber twin we will definitely take that centering unfortunately made it get the nine because i think that card is extremely clean because those ultis usually have like back stuff and stuff going on with them okay not bad eight nine ten we'll take it i mean look at that cyber twin that looks, thing looks really really good okay what does this one got going on corners all seem pretty good back of this one super clean again if this is an ulti that's really really awesome we have a, oh, a cyber end. Oh, here it is, the cyber end dragon. All right, centering. Pretty good. Pretty decent. All right, wow, the centering's good. Surface is good. Is this thing have a 10 chance? Oh, if this gets a 10, if this gets a 10, that'd be amazing. Uh, Centering and corners, the surface all look good. It's between nine and 10, it's gotta be. Come on, come on. Send us some luck in the comments, guys. Oh, come on, the nine. Oh, I don't know why. This might be one that we have to, at some point, maybe resubmit because I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. I think I predicted a nine just because I was being pessimistic because it's such a nice card. I mean, the corners are not like perfectly cut, but they're also like, there's no whitening on them. So like, they're just not shaped perfectly. I don't know. I think that that is like this versus this. I mean, the centering's way better. I, I don't know. I think that that could potentially be a better grade at some point. All right, not bad, not bad. We'll take it. Uh, you can definitely see a stamp here. So this is definitely an ultimate rare corners. Oh, that's unfortunate on the cyber end. I was really hoping for a 10 on that because I thought that card looked really, really nice. That's definitely the best condition one I've ever had. Uh, back definitely has that stamp. We have cyber dark. Oh, can we get another 10 on the cyber dark dragon centering? Amazing. This card is super clean as well. Wow, wait, whoa, what is that? Oh, it's just, okay. I thought it was cracked. Okay, it's just a little piece of something. Is there a little dot down there? I can't tell. Maybe slight whitening right there on that edge, on that bottom corner. That's about it. Let's see what we got. Come on. Ooh, another nine. Oh, is it because of that corner? I mean, the corner you could see, it looks white there, but then when you do it like that, it's not white. So it's like a slight, slight corner thing there, but wow, that, oh, it's so close. What a nice card, man. What a nice card. There at least is something. I mean, then there's the back. It definitely has some stamping, but yeah, there's at least something to make it a nine there. So I kind of get it, but I think that honestly could get a 10 on a different day. Okay, so we've got three nines, a 10 and an eight. So can we get another 10, please? Can we get an ulti 10? That would be amazing. Corners, 
These look really good so far. Really, really good. I feel like this is an ulti because it's a little wavy on the back, but maybe not. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Guys, we have graded what? Two, I think, of these before, but both got nines. I've been looking for a 10 of this for years at this point. I think we have two of these in here. So if we can get a 10, that would be amazing to add to the collection. Come on, Ancient Gear Golem. Come on. This is your chance to be added to the collection. Here we go. It's a little bit shifted that way. Let's see. Oh, let's go! A gem minted Ancient Gear Golem. Let's go. And yes, this will be added to the collection. This one's not for sale. Stay away. No questions. I am keeping this one. I've been trying to get one of these for a long time. I used to own every other Ultimate Rare in PSA 10 from this set. And then, or Ultra Ulti. So there's four total. I had the... Uh, Okay, let me think of them. We had Flame Wing Man at one point. We sold that one. We had a Chef the Dark Being. And then we had, what's the other one? The Thunder Giant. We had to sell that one as well. So I sold all of them. But in the end, I was really just looking for this one. This is the one I really wanted. Ancient Gear Golem. Amazing Ultimate Rare. That is awesome. Going in the collection. Super excited. I think we have another one. So if we get two tens, maybe, maybe one will be for sale. We'll see. But uh, I doubt we get two. That would be extremely lucky. Look. I think this might be the one and it, it looks really clean on the back. Maybe is there a little bit of like indents there? Like not really indents, but like very close, like, you know, like between indent and like nothing. I don't really know what to call it, but there, there's like a middle ground. If you guys know what I mean, corners look good on this car. Wait, maybe a little, eh, not really whitening, but something going on there. There's the ancient gear golem. Centering, I feel like is even better on this card. Wow, this card looks good. Okay, let's just see if we got two tents. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Double Ancient Gear Golem! All right, it's a GX party, baby. All right, the, the Cyber Dragons, not so much love, but for our Dr. Crowler stuff, looking nice. Two Ancient Gear Golems. Holy, that is awesome. That is amazing. Three cards to go. So now we've got three tens. I mean, that is amazing out of 10 cards for like high end stuff. So, and Pot of Greed being the eight, it's probably the lowest end card I set. So, no big deal. Wow, I think we have a thousand dragon in here. Still a card I do not have in PSA 10. So, if we were able to get that one, that would be awesome. Um, what is going on with this corner? Just like a little yellow, more yellow. It's kind of weird. Okay, uh, corners look good. Back surface appears to be really nice. Ooh, Wing Kariba level 10. Oh, I'm, and this is the one that was way OC. This is getting an eight. I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, it was an eight. I said this, I was getting ready. I was doing the pre-grade and I was like, Ugh, this thing is way off centered. Yeah, this card is minty, just off center. So, I mean, it's like a mint card. It's just unfortunately way too off centered to like actually grade. Yeah, that one's a little unfortunate. I kind of forgot about that card. Uh, that didn't really have a chance. Let's see what else we have. Corners look good. Didn't even really need to sus have any suspense on that one. That one thing was getting an eight no matter what. Okay, Wing Karibo. Definitely better centering on the regular Wing Karibo. I've graded two of these in 10 before. I sold both of them for like 300 bucks, which back in the day was a lot. And it's not now for these cards. Even though we've come down in the Yu-Gi-Oh market, it's still like really cheap for this card. It's like, I think raw over 300. So it's pretty crazy. I would love to get another one of these. It has the really nice background. Very cool. Can we get a 10? It looks like it might have a chance. Let's see. Oh, I got a nine. All right. We've graded a couple of nines of this recently, unfortunately, but maybe a little center off center that way. But that's not much. I mean, that was around what the golem was. Don't know why this got a nine, actually. Oh, well, well, so pretty cool card. We'll take it. I mean, it's a nice nine. And then we have one more card of this submission. If you guys like this one, we do have the next 10, I think, is a bunch of elemental heroes that we graded. So hopefully those will have equals or better success than this. Um, equal would be awesome as well. Oh, what is that? We see something on the back there. I can't tell if there's something going on here or not. I don't know. Maybe there is. I think this is a thousand dragon, if I'm not mistaken. It is a thousand dragon. Okay, let's see what we can get. Secret rare. One eye. It's been evading me. The, the metal raiders, secret rares. I cannot get them as tens. I don't have gate guardian and I don't have thousand dragon. I just have nines of those. Let's see if we can get this as our first 10 for metal raiders secret rares. Come on. Thousand dragon. Here we go. Oh, another nine. I've graded like three nines of this card. One day I'm going to get a 10. Thousand Dragon. I think there may be some issues on the back. Like it seems like maybe there's like something going on right there. Like a little scratch or something. So that's probably why I got the nine. But honestly, a really good submission. We got three tens. I mean, like three really good ones as well. I mean, two Ancient Gear Golems is amazing. A Solemn Judgment. And this was very good. And then a bunch of solid nines that I think maybe if we want to try and like retry or maybe even send a CGC, something like that, we could do it with some of this GX stuff. But this has been a really fun return. We have three more upcoming and I'm going to probably send some more stuff off like 
maybe the Exodia Starlights and stuff like that. Maybe our Dark Arm Dragons we pulled the other day. So, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.